Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominich and I am a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the videos that we post. Today I'm going to walk you through using slicers and slicer type formatting in the Power BI desktop and how this has changed with the new December 2022 update of Power BI. First, I will show you what this experience looked like in the previous versions of Power BI and how we can modify our slicers in the newest version of the Power BI desktop. I will also show you how this new update has made this an available option for us in the mobile layout as well from the Power BI service. All right, enough talking about it. Let's get to it. So here we have some screenshots of what this looked like in the previous version of Power BI. I built out a sample report using the AdventureWorks data set here, and we can see here is a generic calendar year slicer here. Now, previously, if we wanted to modify a slicer, we would need to hover over that slicer and then find this little drop down here to allow us to select the type of slicer that we wanted to display if we did not like the between slicer that is currently displayed here. We could then hit that drop down and choose from the options available. Less than or equal to and greater than or equal to are variations of that between slicer. The drop down simplifies this and condenses all of these years into just a little drop down menu there to select from. And currently what we're looking at is the list option here. So this is the list slicer that allows us to select the year that we wanted to focus on and that we wanted to filter down our other visuals to inside of our report as well. Now, if we wanted to modify that slicer so that instead of seeing a vertical list, we were seeing horizontal tiles, we would need to go over to our visualizations pane instead of just being able to format that setting there on top of that slicer visual. Not super inconvenient, but again, it's an extra step that has to be taken when you are developing that report. And we know we wanna be as efficient as possible always. And this is what those horizontal tiles would look like once we modified that setting. Now let's go ahead and head over to the Power BI desktop to see what this looks like here in the newest update. All right, so here you can see a sample of that report that I built out here using the AdventureWorks data set. As you can see, I have a slicer here with the calendar year. I have a column chart displaying the sales amount by calendar year as well as the month. I have a matrix showing our date hierarchy as well as total product cost and the order quantity. And then just a simple card visual up here showing us the total product cost. Now, when we hover over that slicer visual, if we try to modify the settings in the way that we've been used to so far, we're gonna see this message here letting us know we need to head over to the visualizations pane in the format section there to modify our slicer settings. So let's select that slicer visual and then go to our visualizations pane in that format your visual section. Let's expand the slicer settings. Now here we can see under options, we have the choices here to choose from. We can choose from the drop down if we don't like that between option. So we can choose from the years here, filtering down to year 2006 and seeing just the data associated with the year 2006 on all of our visuals here in our report. We could hit that clear selections to put this back in the original state that we had it in. Now let's say we wanted to change our slicer settings here from drop down to that list. We can do that, but what's different here is now we don't have the option here just to change the orientation from vertical to horizontal. Horizontal is now available as a tile. So they changed the name from the horizontal list to just a tile. So that's what you would want here if you wanted then to just see these options as a horizontal button list here. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the Power BI service and take a look at what this looks like from our mobile layout section. 
All right, so here in the service, we can see those same visuals that we were looking at in the Power BI desktop. And now if we wanted to keep this as that between slicer, we have that option here. But if I wanted to modify this, we can select that slicer visual, then over in the visualization section here, we can expand our slicer settings. And from the option section, we can change the style here from between to a tile here. And we can see this is a much more user-friendly experience here while accessing the data from our mobile device. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you found this helpful as you begin using and modifying slicers in Power BI. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the videos that we post here at Pragmatic Works. If you want more content from Pragmatic Works outside of our YouTube channel on Power BI or any of the other programs in the Power Platform, then head over to our on-demand learning platform that I've linked in the description below, where you can take classes on Power BI, DAX, Power Apps, Power Automate, Azure, and Microsoft Teams, just to name a few. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.